In July 2014, I, I had a sleep test and the results were 35 apnea and hypoapnea events uh, per hour during that test. Three months after starting Buteco and having lost about eight, seven, eight kilograms, I repeated the sleep test and I only had one event during the whole night. So it was quite a major reduction in the number of sleep apnea events for me. When I was a teenager, I was put on an antihistaminic called Zaditan. I was taking it for more than one year. And in that period, my weight increased significantly and my, my sleep pattern changed. I started sleeping earlier, sleeping for longer, and I was uh, sleepy most of the, the day, especially in the morning and the, in the evening. But then I stopped using that medication, but I didn't lose the weight. In the night, sometimes I wake up grasping for air and kind of choking. I visit the medical doctor and he suggested to do a sleeping lab test and it showed that I had some sleep apneas during the night and I was put on CPAP. And CPAP, in fact, improved my quality of sleeping and my quality of life. And that was in 2007 and I was on CPAP for seven or eight years. When using the CPAP, the number of apnea events was lower. But then I started to feel again the, the shocking sensation. Not, not frequently, but ever now and then, although I was wearing the CPAP, I would wake feeling that I choked a little bit. So I went to the medical doctor again. We repeated the sleeping exams. Everything seems to be okay, and he suggested that I tried hard to reduce my weight, which I did. I started trying to reduce my weight and also uh, trying to find information in the internet on other ways to improve my sleep apnea. My vitamin D was low, it was about 13 nanograms per liter, which is on the low scale. And I was put on vitamin D and it was easier to start losing weight. And I also I enrolled in a beginner's workshop with the, the Boteco online. And that was the beginning of a better recovery. First days, I noticed I didn't have so much desire to eat. So the, the appetite was reduced a little bit. First... Uh, Two or three weeks, I noticed that uh, my weight was reduced in about two or three kilograms, mainly because I had a high hot water retention in my body, and I observed that a lot of water was released, so the weight was reduced on about two or three kilograms. And with the continuation of using Boteco method, in about two or three months, I lost another two or three kilograms. So the, the Boteco helped in reducing the, the weight in my case. When you are overweight, it's more probable to have sleep apnea events. I didn't need to eat so often. And in the end, the weight reduced quite easily. Vladimir suggested that I stopped using the CPAP after one or two days in the workshop, which I did. It was difficult to adjust, but then I, f I felt okay. Not great, but um, I felt okay. And I did the boutique for about two months, and I thought that I was doing well and decided to go back to my sleep specialist. And I said that I wanted to repeat the sleep test. It was a bit uh, surprised. <laughs> but uh, since I also I lost uh, about seven kilograms or eight kilograms at that time, we said, okay, let's give it a try and see what, what happens. I went for the sleep 
exam and I only had one event during the whole night, six and a half hours of sleep about that and just one event, which was a major improvement. And so the sleep specialist agreed that I could come off uh, the CPAP. And since that time, I don't use CPAP. I feel most of the time I feel okay. I, I don't feel extremely sleepy. Some days are better than others with the sleep, but um, I think I'm okay. I, probably I will repeat the sleep test sometime in the future, but at the moment um, I'm okay, I think. Mm -hmm.